welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and do a quick study on something that the Lord is wanting me to bring to your focus. And so, if you don't know, my name is Courtney and I am just on fire for God. I love Him with all of my heart and I love being able to help people get to know Lord, the Lord in a more intimate and close relationship. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in because it's a super fun topic, but something that you might glaze over or maybe never thought to study unless the Lord brings it to your attention because that was the case for me. So today we're talking about the ears, the ears, our ears, how important our ears are. And so a few days ago, I released a prophetic word that the Lord is saying um, in this hour, and that is that our mouths are very important. And so I released that word, um, and the Lord had me to do a little bit of a deep dive into ears, because how many of us know that if you didn't have ears, then you wouldn't even have anything to say? I know that sounds crazy, right? But think about it. People who are deaf, who can't hear at all, they have the vocal cords, they have the ability to speak. However, they don't speak. Why? They can make noises, they can make sounds, but they don't usually speak or do any of that because they haven't heard anything. And so what you hear and what you let into your ear gates is very vital in this hour, especially if the Lord has said that this is a season that is all about the mouth, what we are speaking, what we are declaring, decreeing, and what he is saying. It is so important to watch our tongue right now, to speak the word of God right now, to let out a roar from the gates of heaven right now, and not to get so tied up into what the world wants to distract us with, but to be so focused on the word of God. He told Joshua in the book of Joshua to keep the word, keep my word on your lips always. Meditate on it day and night. Don't turn to the left or to the right so that you may be prosperous in all that you do. And so it's so important that we know that we must keep the word of God on our lips at all times. We must meditate on it day and night. But how many of us know that if we don't hear the word of God, if we're not absorbing and taking in the word of God, and I don't just mean watching sermons on YouTube, I don't just mean you know listening to people at your church, I mean knowing God for yourself, being able to hear God for yourself so you can speak what he's saying out in this hour. I'm reminded of whenever I tell people, um, Whenever you wake up, sometimes we have a song that's just placed on our heart. We don't know why this song is just in our head, placed on our heart the first thing we wake up. But it's so important that you let that song out, that you sing that song with your mouth. Why? Because the Lord has deposited that song into your heart. He's put it in your spirit, and now he's wanting to let it out. So that way, you don't even realize it, but you're decreeing the thing and establishing some things over your life. Because we know that life and death is in the power of the tongue, not in the power of the mind. It's what you actually speak out. You can speak out life. I don't care how you twist it and put it. If I saw a person that was laid out dead and I just kept thinking, exactly, y'all looking at me like, what is she doing? Uh, raised from the dead raised from the dead in the name of Jesus you will live and not die but I'm saying it in my head what good is that it's not getting anywhere the spirit of death that has that person entangled and choked up or the body that has passed away that needs to hear the word of the Lord can't hear it God told Ezekiel to prophesy as you were commanded prophesy speak it out okay and so God had me release that word that our mouth is important, but he wanted to give us understanding. Understanding. He wanted to release some secrets to us. How many of us know you cannot know a secret if you don't have ears? You just can't. You can't. And how many of us also know that whenever you tell somebody, let me tell you a secret, where do you go? You go to their ear. So if you want to know the secrets of God, the secrets of heaven, it is important that you fine tune your ears and that you guard your ear gates, all right? So let me go ahead and just get into this brief teaching. I had to just do some building up just a minute ago, but the Lord had me look up the ear. 
because we cannot know the secrets of heaven, the kingdom of heaven, without paying attention to our ears, right? So the outer ear, this is like ear um, anatomy. I went and looked up like the actual ear, not just like what it says in the Bible, which I'll read that to you in a minute, but the natural ear. I went on an ear doctor website and was like, let me look up what is it, what it is about these ears God's wanting to convey to me. So the outer ear, there's three things. It helps our bodies with balance. The outer ear allows us to hear properly, not just hear, but hear properly. And the outer ear amplifies sound and directs it clearly. So the outer ear helps our bodies to keep balance. It allows us to hear properly and it amplifies sound and directs it clearly. And then we have the inner ear. The inner ear converts the sound waves to the brain so that the brain can register what you're hearing and make it make sense to you. Don't ask me how that works because only God knows. He is amazing in all that he does because just as fast as you're hearing me right now, you're having the sound go into your ears. The outer ear captures it and directs it to the inner ear. The inner ear works it up and breaks it to the brain. Then the brain breaks it down into understanding so you can understand what I'm saying right now in real time. It's wild, but it's only God, right? So our inner ear converts sound waves to the brain. Our inner ear sense senses the movement and position of the head and the body. And then our inner ear also allows us to see clearly. How many of us know that any of our senses, is if one is affected, the others are affected, right? Oops, I kicked my thing. If one is affected, the others are affected. And so our inner ear allows us to see clearly, especially when we're changing positions. There's not a blurriness going on here. There's not something um, preventing you from, when you look to the left, you just see curtains, you just see a window, you see that, whatever's on your left, you just are able to see it clearly. The majority of us are. Now some of us wear glasses and some of us, um, you know, it's a little bit harder, but <laughs> God is a healer, right? And so that's the outer and inner ear, but let me break it down a little bit more spiritually. So our outer ear helps our bodies to balance. Our outer ear, if we didn't have an ear, we'd be off balance. How many of us have kids? I do. My littlest um, or my youngest baby, she had an ear infection for the first time ever. Um, and I don't think any of my kiddos have had an ear infection, maybe one out of four um, whenever they were a baby, so they weren't even walking yet. But I noticed something with Naomi. She got an ear infection and she had woke up and from a nap and she was going to the left and she was trying to walk, but she kept stumbling. And I was like, why is she stumbling? So my mom's a nurse. I text my mom. I asked her. She said, take her to the doctor. She probably has an ear infection. Well, I had never experienced a child having an ear infection, so I didn't even know what to look for. But since her ear is infected, her balance was off. So if your ear gates have been letting in um, secular music that is just derogatory and bad, if your ear gates have been letting in a host of complaints because you have coworkers who just are cussing and complaining all the time, if your ear gates have been letting in um, promiscuous things from movies you've been watching where it's just a little sex scene, it's not like just that bad. I mean, we all know that it's sex. I got a phone call. If your ear gates have been letting in some things, spiritually you're going to be off balance you're going to go either more to the left or to the right let's say the left is god and the right is the world and you've been allowing the world to just pour 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 into you you're going to be off balance and then you're going to be going to church wondering why you're confused you're going to open your bible and wonder i don't really understand this like i'm trying to read it but i don't i don't understand it i know that verse it says Faith comes by hearing, and hearing that is by the Word of God. Your hearing is unlocked the more that you're reading the Word of God. That is Jesus. There is light shown on lots of different areas in your life. The more of God, the more of the Word of God, the more that you partake of Jesus, correct? Because Jesus is the Word. And so, if you're allowing the things of the world to speak more into you, you're going to be off balance spiritually. And we all know that we are spirit beings living in a body. We're not just people that God created to be like, woo, woo, woo. No, we're spirits and we're living in a body. And so you are to operate 
and function as a spirit. But sometimes we get too much into our flesh and too much into the world and that takes our life and shifts it off balance, off course, right? So the outer ear helps our bodies to balance. Likewise, what you let into your ear gates will help you or hurt you when you're trying to keep this balance going in life. Nextly, nextly, help me Holy Ghost, next. <laughs> um, allows us to hear properly. The outer ear allows us to hear properly. Not just hear, but hear properly. Imagine if your outer ear was compromised because you've been listening to the wrong things, you've been listening to prophets that tickle your ears, false prophets that come to give you doctrines of demons, and now you're hearing things like this. So here comes a true word of God and you can't even perceive it and hear it. I was having a conversation with um, a friend the other day and they mentioned how, and this this friend of mine, is we're not like super close, we're not um, talking every day. I'm on my path, they're on their path. And they began to mention about how the Holy Spirit and praying in tongues and speaking in tongues and laying on the hands, it's all ridiculous. It's a white man's religion. It's stupid. I can't believe people ever convinced us of that. And when I tell you I was flabbergasted, literally speechless, I was like, whoa, where do we do that at? That's borderline blasphemy. How do you say that that about the Holy Spirit? How? It's a doctrine of demons. Somebody has been speaking to them, whispering things in their ears, and then trying to twist and turn scripture to convince them that the Holy Spirit, that's nonsense. And I said, whoa. I was praying in that moment. I said, Holy Spirit, let this bounce off of my ears. I don't want it to even enter my spirit. I don't want it to enter my soul. I don't need to be hearing this. And so they're talking, blah, 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 blah. and that's what I'm hearing because I don't want to hear what you have to say. Turn with me to this scripture. Turn with me to that scripture. Trying to, to strangle me into this whole doctrine of demons. No. I had to guard my ear gates and so I'm praying and asking the Holy Spirit help me to guard my ear gates while this person is talking and please give me what to say once they stop talking or give me a way out of this because somebody has convinced them that you Holy Ghost are not real but I've seen you with my own eyes I've seen your works with my own eyes there's no convincing me okay and we're gonna get into how important that is in just a minute when we get back to the inner ear and so it allows us to hear properly if your ears are compromised you're not hearing things properly you're not able to hear the Word of God properly and then lastly it amplifies sound and directs it clearly how many of us know we need clear direction in our life boy when I tell you <laughs> This is out to get me. Um, we need the things of God and the, the secrets of God, the mysteries of God to be revealed to us clearly. But they can only be re revealed to us clearly if our hearing is not compromised, right? And so amplifies sound and then directs clearly. That's the outer ear. The inner ear converts the sound waves to the brain. So what you're hearing, it converts those sound waves unto your brain, then your brain translates it. That's your inner ear. And so it's so important that we're guarding our ear gates because your inner, ear, your inner ear is going to translate what you're hearing and make it make sense. We know that the Holy Spirit helps us do that. The Holy Spirit gives us revelation that is revealed truth, shows us revealed truth. The truth is Jesus. Whenever we read scripture or we listen to scripture and we're asking the Holy Spirit for revelation, help me to understand this. And then you have that aha moment. Oh, that's what that meant this whole time? That's called revelation. It's called revealed truth. The Holy Spirit's job is to reveal Jesus. As you read the Bible, you say, ah, that's Jesus. Whenever Moses was in the wilderness with the Israelites and the Israelites were being hood rats. I mean, if you know me, just know that anytime I talk about the Israelites, I equate them to being like a hood rat. So I just use that. But just know that that means disobedient. Um, it means rebellious. It means practicing witchcraft. The Israelites were doing all that. God went ahead and was like, okay, y'all making me real mad right now. And they begin to get boils on their skin and get really sick, right? And God tells them, because Moses intercedes for them, God tells them, God tells Moses, um, get a stick and put a bronze snake on it. 
and whenever the whoever can look upon the stick they will be healed well that was symbolic of Jesus Jesus was on a stick the cross and whenever people would look to Jesus if you and I would just look to Jesus we would be healed of our infirmities of our sickness of our whatever is in our body whatever is going on we would be healed if we can just look upon the cross right so that was symbolic so the Holy Spirit is the only person who can reveal that truth it's been in the scriptures the whole time some people read it and just okay that's interesting they looked upon a bronze, a bronze serpent all right and they read past it but when you have the Holy Ghost you say wait a minute okay so whenever Jesus and you Put two and two together and it becomes translated right the inner ear also helps us to sense movement god is telling you to move a place to move to a place to move and do a thing but you're not able to perceive it because you're hearing or you're not hearing your lack of hearing your lack of reading the word the hearing comes by the word of god so the more that you read the word of god the more that you can hear god tell you something in a still small voice the more that you can read the book of second samuel and it says david inquired of the lord and the lord said go and then you're in a season in your life where you're saying god do i go and then you read that because you're reading your word and you're saying that's a rainbow word that's a right now word for me the lord says go for i am with you you will you will be victorious and you go forward 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 forth y'all help me i'm trying to talk fast but it's not working because i don't have a ton of time but <laughs> so you go forth so since movement and position of the head and the body so if christ is saying go one way or if the church is going one way because christ is the head of the church the body the church is the body right and the whole church is moving this way but you're over here caught up in doctrines of demons and not able to perceive or to sense we're going towards revival we're going towards awakening we're going towards whatever it might be you should be able to sense that movement you can only do that by hearing and then lastly allows us to see clearly allows us to see clearly and so you cannot see things clearly if you don't have good hearing your eyesight will even be compromised if your ear gates are compromised you can't see what the Lord is doing you can't see the new things he's putting in your pathway you can't see clearly if this is a demon that Satan has sent your way and you think that it's your kingdom spouse and you're not listening to God you're not reading God and you're deceived you can't see clearly you're asking God for visions and dreams and revelations but what are you putting into you what are you allowing the best way I can describe it is if whatever you consume, that's going to be what comes out. That's going to be what comes out, whatever you consume. So the more the, of the word of God that you consume, the more the Lord can give you those dreams and those visions that are of him because you've been consuming him. That's just how I understand and break it down to you. I'm not going to give you scripture where it points that out, but I will say to you, that if you're not consuming the word of God, you're caught up in these romance novels, you're caught up in watching all these crazy movies with guns and violence and murderers and stuff like that, don't be surprised when your dreams are filled with that stuff. But when you're meditating on the word of God, when the meditations of your heart are the word of God, he has some things to pull from so that he can show you some visions and reveal some things to you, right? Because God's not changing. God's not going to be be saying well you know she's been watching these murderous videos let me just try to get something and like make the people the characters from the he's holy he's set apart god's not trying to dig through what the world has put in you and see what he can pull out and no he wants you to be holy be holy as i am holy i believe that's in the book of peter i don't know if it's first or second peter but be holy just as god is holy okay don't try to just be like the world, but expect the results of God. Expect the blessing of God when you're trying so hard to fit into this mold of the world. You're not called to fit in. You're called to stand out. You're not called to be dim. You're called to shine. Okay? And so our ears are important. The Lord wanted me to highlight this because if he's told us to use our mouth, what comes in our ears will eventually come out of our mouth. What we are able to hear will eventually come out of our mouth. The meditations of our heart will eventually flow out. Okay? So it's important that we have our ears 
consecrated and given, committed to the Lord, to the word of God. So that way, what comes out of our mouth will not be, oh, crap, or oh, cuss word when something happens. It'll be, oh, Jesus, help me. Whenever something happens and we don't know, you know, a bill is due and we thought, thought we had the money to pay it, it's not going to be like, let me go like get a couple of jobs and let me go start applying. It's going to be, Lord, you said you're a gyra. I saw how you provided for the Israelites. I saw how you provided for um, Rebecca. I saw how you provided for Ruth. I saw how you provided for X, Y, and Z in the Bible. And I know that you're faithful. I know that you are. So please help me. The meditations of our heart matters. And heart, when you look it up, it means mind. How many of us know the only way we're getting things into our mind is either by reading them or by hearing them. There's no other way. Okay? So I pray that this video blessed you. I pray that you are able to really focus on the word of God. Focus on the Lord. Focus on what he is trying to tell you in this hour and not on anything else. Don't allow the, the distractions of the world to take you off course, but keep your focus on the Lord. Continue to read your word daily, daily, daily. It will begin to unlock your ears, your ears, your ears. It'll magnify your sound to where it comes to you so easily, slow, clearly, that you just hear the voice of God. Because you're reading your word, because you're in your word, you're communing with the Father. And so I pray that this just begins to set your heart even more on fire to read your Bible. You can join me over on Instagram at AriseDaughtersCO. That is AriseDaughtersCO to join the conversation on Instagram. But I do encourage you to comment down below if this has helped you, if it spoke to you in any way, shape, or form. And I will see you on the next video.